Hi guys, here what you see is a DC to DC bug boost converter module. Okay. Closer view. And guys, this is a 3.7 volts, 40,000 mAh lithium ion battery pack. Okay. And these are its two terminals, positive and negative. So guys, uh, the plan is to give an input of 3.7 volts DC and get an output of around 12 to 14.6 volts DC. So this I've already done in one of my previous videos. So what is new about this is I'm going to connect a few of these in parallel to increase the input and output amperes. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB to order upload Jobo files from your computer after checking the details and price on the next page, save to cart and then check out securely. Also, every customer will get $7 and $8 free engineering fee for SMT assembly orders. So guys, I have set the output voltages of all the five converters to 14.6 volts DC and the input that I will give is going to be 3.7 volts DC. And guys, I believe that by now you already know that it's the potentiometer that is used uh, to set the output voltage uh, with the maximum output voltage of around 33 volts. Okay, all you gotta do is turn the knob. So guys, this is an 84 LED panel. As you can see that uh, this small converter is powerful enough to light up this LED panel. So uh, we can only imagine or hope how much output amps or voltage we are going to get after connecting five of these in parallel. So guys, I got this product from Banggood's. You can see the model number MDS8207 innovation and here you can see multimeter and oscilloscope 2 in 1. So let's open it. This is for uh, the temperature measurement I guess. Negative, positive. Yeah, minus 50 to 204 centigrade, degree centigrade. 
these are the multimeter pins okay and this is uh, the full manual user manual as you can see the voltage measurement is around 1000 volts dc plus ac peak value within 10 seconds okay ac voltage 750 volts dc ac and 10 amps current milliamps 500 milliamps so it has all the basic features of a multimeter plus it also has an oscilloscope temperature sensor you see degree centigrade and uh, it can also measure capacitance diode this is the oscilloscope okay and this is for the temperature sensing degree centigrade so let's open the back cool looks really nice the packing material is also very nice the display is quite large and here you can see NPN, PNP, that is for uh, the NPN and PNP transistors, oscilloscope multimeter 40 megahertz, HFE for uh, the measurement of the transistor, degree centigrade for temperature measurement, capacitor and diode and resistance measurement. Okay, and uh, the frequency and this is the oscilloscope and this orange color section AC and DC and this is off, this is off. So and one more very important thing is you open it and this is your stand and when you again open it that is your battery section it can hold three batteries 1.5 volts each the normal cell that we use in clock okay so let's connect the batteries Okay, yeah, it's done. So let's turn it on. Auto power on. Yeah, the display looks really nice. Yeah, it's a complete smart multimeter. A must have tool for every electrical and electronics engineer who does practical work. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be something like this. Yeah, the leads look uh, really nice. Good quality. Okay. So guys, what I'm going to do here with this multimeter is check out the final output waveform of this DC to DC converter. Yeah, and its voltage with this multimeter. So let's connect the pins. So red color, red color for oscilloscope and for voltage. So first measuring the voltage, I will have to take the lock out. Yeah, now it's open. Same for this one. So guys, the meter pins have been connected and remove these two also. So guys, here I have connected uh, the red pin to the oscilloscope OSC and the black is always common. Let's move the pointer towards DC, okay? Okay, so it is pointing towards DC. The meter has been turned off. The voltage it is uh, displaying is zero volts. So let's connect these two pins to this 3.7 volts terminals battery pack terminals the negative is going to be this one and this is going to be the positive so guys since the output from a battery is always pure dc form so as you can see here it is showing the dc line the graph is here and here and a little above it 3.7 volts is the dc line as you can see that the battery is fully charged it is showing 4.064 vrms and as well as average for a DC source, uh, the RMS and the average values are always same and you can see frequency in Hertz is not applicable because it's DC, frequency is always zero. So let's do the measurement and waveform test with this oscilloscope for this converter, okay? So this red pin from the oscilloscope will be connected to the positive output of the bug boost converter module and negative automatically to the negative okay so yeah both of them have been connected so let's see the close of view as you can see that the output from this boost converter is almost pure dc yeah here it is showing completely dc and uh, as you can see 15.48 volts average and 15.48 volts vrms 
same value since it's DC RMS and average value are always the same and frequency is same zero So guys here as you can see all the five uh, bug boost converter modules have been stuck pretty good on this wooden platform. Now here you see the input side, input side, input side, input side. So this side that faces is the input side and that side is the output side. So first the plan is to connect all the positive which in this case is uh, the yellow wires. So uh, all the positive yellow wires will be connected together as a common positive and all the negative terminals will be connected as one common negative so let's do that so these are all the positive So the positive has been completed and this is the positive tapping point, now comes the negative. Negative is also complete. Close the view, negative is complete and so is the positive. Okay. Let's check it by connecting the final terminal. This is the positive, this is the negative. So let's check if the setup is working. Okay, so this is how it looks. The blue LED glowing it. Cool, right? So guys, I have set the output value of each of these bug boost converter modules to 15.1 volts so that when they are loaded, then the voltage drops and stabilizes somewhere around 14.5 or 6 volts. So yeah, I will measure it for you. White is negative. The red is positive. Yeah. You can see it is somewhere around 15.06 volts. Yeah. So uh, same as for all of the five. So guys, I'm going to do the same thing uh, to the output side, positive to positive and negative to negative. Yeah, you see. So guys, here as you can see that all the terminals of the module have been connected in parallel okay now let's connect the battery so guys you can see that the terminals are lit up now let's connect 
a load to it so this is a car indicator bulb let's connect this and hope that it glows so guys as you can see as soon as i connect this terminal the lights turn off and the converter also turns off this means that either this cannot handle the load of this small bulb properly or there is some connection error like uh, maybe it is not designed to be connected in parallel so let's check that out so guys all the terminals at the output have been disconnected now let's connect this indicator bulb to just one converter okay and hope that it glows okay yes yeah, so guys as you can see that it is glowing although it's glowing a little bit but it is glowing which was not the case when all of them were connected in parallel now guys let's connect the positive of one converter to the negative of other converter to confirm that all of them get interconnected when connected in parallel at the input side okay so you see it is glowing the negative is from this converter and positive is from this so this indicates that when connected in parallel at the input sides they get interconnected and cannot be used in parallel so the only option remains is remove the connections from the parallel side and connect the batteries individually to each circuit so guys here as you can see i have connected this 3.7 volts 40000 mah battery pack to all the five bug boost converter modules and as you can see i have connected five individual appliances 12 volt appliances and they are all operating the led panel is glowing although it is uh, outside and it is a uh, very bright so it is not appearing too bright here and you can see that this motor is also running really fast this is a 12 volts mini motor this is another 12 volts motor and you can see this is a 24 volts motor high speed and this is a little large 100 watts motor you can see all of them are uh, running cool right so yeah let's disconnect the supply yeah the wires are warm because it is taking huge amps from this battery pack and distributing it to all the five loads so guys although with this method we can run individual loads but to increase the overall output of this setup what we have to do is what i'm going to tell in one of my upcoming videos so guys that's all about today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe Best regards, Electron. Thank you.